Today's our first Monday out of school, which is a nice break. We have like two, three weeks, a whole two weeks until we go back. But today is PR day. It is Monday, just got back from a workout, been doing a lot of admin stuff, and now we get to open some PR packages, which I'm excited about. Starting with Caudalie. Always excited to open up a Caudalie box because their shit is just quality. It's just, it just is good. Ooh, they sent a laugh mic, look at that. They what? Yeah, they sent a plug-in phone laugh mic. Salicylic acid exfoliant, and then good old plug-in lav mic. A shout out to Caudalie. <laughs> Let's see this next one. This next one I think is from Gains and Bulk. Your games have arrived. Oh, this is a nice shaker. That's actually very fancy. Whoa. Is this a funnel for, it's a protein funnel. Very cool. <gasps> or a creatine funnel for Oh my gosh, no. So like, what you can do is you can store your protein stuff in here because it screws on. You oh. can throw it in your gym bag. So you could have your mix of like greens and like creatine and all oh, the <laughs> uh and like protein powder. Uh -huh. And then like you could throw it in your school bag. That's that massive brains. It. That's ma <laughs> That's massive brains. That's the biggest brain. The I've biggest seen. fucking brains. Yeah, this is super Got some workout candy. That's crazy. Hell yeah. That's a nice ass shaker bottle. You gotta show that. That's nice. That was nice. I know, that means I can't break it, which is perfect. That's some crazy. Thank you, Gains in Bulk. I'm excited about this one. This is from Surrey. Some toothbrushes. I have been looking at these on in like Instagram ads for a long time. They are so nice. They're eco-friendly electric toothbrushes. Trying to up that oral hygiene game. It's amazing. Shout out to Sari, thank you. Okay, this is super fucking cool. It has like a little travel case that kills like with a UV light. So it like sanitizes bacteria. That's really cool. Very cool. Dude, the packaging experience, quite nice. This is quite nice. Look at that. Damn. Oh. Bro. It's got the charger and everything. It's fancy. Here's your toothbrush. Thank you. It is about time for us to go ahead and start putting up some wallpaper and just have a couple more boxes to open up. I'm actually excited about this one. Most of the time I use my Remarkable tablet to avoid using paper, uh, but sometimes I just need to. I'm excited for this bad boy because believe it or not, this is actually made from recycled stone. Uh, and this company, Karst, is a B Corp, which is really, really cool to see. So, excited to see how Stone writes. Next, we have wallpaper. Time to finish this bad boy up. Mm -hmm. It is time for some wallpaper up in this hall. Trying to get this area in between the living room and Lily's room in the office looking nice and colorful. Here is what it looks like thus far. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What are you thinking, baby? I like it, I think. You like it? You'll love it. It is another PR day. I uh, got this in the mail. Excited to open it up because I genuinely have no idea what's in here. I Normally you can tell just from the sender. Nothing on this bad boy. Oh, got some Saint Laurent. Myself. My expressive self, my tenacious self, my emotional self, my unapologetic self, my nuanced self, my strong self, my proud self, my explorative self, my mysterious self, my fluid self, my joyful self, myself. 
no matter what. This guy does not want to come out. When in doubt. Very nice. Thank you, Saint Laurent. Ooh, that's quite nice. Let's see what Taylor thinks. Oh, damn. Let's see what you think. <clears throat> Caught me mid sandwich. <laughs> Sorry. You want to open it? Teamwork. Oh. It smells nice, right? It's, it's really good. Bro, men's cologne. It smells really good. Dude, it kind of slaps. That smells like very clean. Also like very cedary. Oh yeah. It's like a warm clean. I'm about to go fix up my shed AC to make sure that it is cold enough for us to actually like continue to work out in there. But I got this in the mail yesterday. It's Spice Balm by Victor Rolf and it smells very like cinnamon spicy. It's very like fall festive. I'm excited to use that more. I hooked up an AC unit in the shed like two years ago, maybe a year ago. Uh, but the problem is I wasn't able to run it because I didn't have an inverter large enough. But I got an inverter large enough. I wired everything up so there should be enough power from the batteries and from the solar panels to be able to run the thing. But now that I have all the infrastructure for it, it's not running. So it's time to figure out why. Also, my brother Tyler made this for his girlfriend, Caroline. Looking pretty nice. All right, so this is the state of the shed right now. There we have charge controller, inverter, two 200 milliamp hour batteries hooked up with an AC. Uh, and then this is the cable running between them. Um, yeah, I need to fix that. <sighs> I figured out the problem. My dumbass was not pressing the on button. There it is. I just wasn't popping up high enough to see it. Fucking ridiculous, but on the bright side, it works. So that's a win. Over the next couple of months or so, I'm going to be fixing up the shed um, and just kind of working on making it a little bit more usable, kind of trying out some different things. So right now, uh, I just got some measurements, and right now I'm getting a sketch of the shed. Um, and that should help pretty dramatically. We just did a bunch of admin work, so I'm gonna take a little break, try and fix up my car a little bit, clean up some of the uh, glue that I was using to pop some of the hail dents out, and also fix some of the scratches, so we'll see how that goes. I got invited to an event by Affable AI. Never really heard or interacted with them before, but it's an influencer mixing event and I'm excited to go. It's also at Oppa in downtown Austin, which I have never visited before, but it's an excuse for me to go see somewhere that I haven't done before, so. Just got back from the event. That was actually surprisingly good. We had a great time and I met a bunch of very cool people, including the founders of Affable and a bunch of other people in the industry and creators here in Austin, which is always very fun. We got invited to go see Blue Beetle here with the brother. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the ads look entertaining. We'll see. Genuinely so impressed. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, yeah. Top, honestly, top five favorite DC movies of all time, probably. Yeah, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, well, yeah, no, honestly, I'm, think I'm not so. thinking, I, I think it's above, um, uh, what was the third Batman? Uh, the Dark, Dark Knight Rises. Rises? Dang. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's above Dark Knight Rises. I like Dark Knight Rises. That's a hot, that's a, but it's just like, I don't know. It's a medium hot take. It's a, it's a mid hot take, yeah. 
Also, I forgot to mention one of the literal creators of Blue Beetle was there like giving the announcement in the beginning of the of the movie. Yeah. Literally like in front. That was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It is 5.30. I am getting ready to go meet up with my friend Felipe. We have a photo shoot at the Austin Motel at 6.30. Uh, but I gotta get my coffee and a little bit of journaling in before I go. Felipe just sent me a message. Turns out, uh, bailed last minute, which is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take dogs for a walk. Uh, and then just try and knock out some admin stuff like really early. Right now, I'm going through the process of trying to hire on a personal assistant. Uh, I'm both excited and kind of nervous by this update, but it'll be good. I have my interviews here in like 30 minutes, so I'm shorting out questions, trying to figure out uh, what exactly it is that I'm looking for. Let me take that back. I know exactly what it is I'm looking for. I'm just trying to figure out how to best say it. Just got done with my interviews. Um, they went really well. Um, but I'm on my way off to a photo shoot right now. This is the fit. There we are. Um, been a little while since we've broken out some of these bad boys, like pants and the boots. Tap boots, always a win. Um, yeah, see you in Wonder Spaces. Oh, also, Blue Beetle has been occupying like a weird amount of space in my head because it really blew me away with how good it actually was. Um, it like, my mom's side of the family is Mexican and we were raised largely with like that side of the family and just like seeing the banter and there were characters in there where it was like, oh my God, that's like my Nina. Or like, that's like, it, it felt so homey and cute. Um, the movie was phenomenal. The humor was not forced. It was like very clear that they were going for something that was humorous and they were setting something up, but it didn't feel forced. It actually felt like, yeah, it was very organic. It was very, it was nice. It felt good. You should go see Blue Beetle. Unsponsored, just a fan. For those of y'all who don't know or are unfamiliar with the character, Blue Beetle is, he's actually Latino, he's Mexican, he's from El Paso. Um, and weirdly enough, the creator, the co-creator of this edition of Blue Beetle, because there was an old Blue Beetle back in like, his name was Ted Cord, which they actually do a really good job of integrating into the movie. Um, but that was the Blue Beetle before, and then in 2006, they made the new Blue Beetle. His name is Jaime Reyes. Uh, he's from El Paso. Um, and I've really liked him ever since like they rebooted him in 2008, 2009 with um, the new 52 DC uh, reboot. I thought he was a great character. Unfortunately, they canceled that line, but I've been a fan of him since like, since then, since I was probably like eight or nine. Um, so it was really cool to see that they brought him to the big screen and I loved the way they did the movie. Also, we are here. Just got back from the photo shoot, had a wonderful time, but god damn, it is hot outside in pants. It's been a couple months since I've worn pants. Obviously I'm here in Texas, but yeah, I forgot, like we were inside most of the time and then we stayed out for like 
five, 10 minutes to talk. I was sweating so fast, it was crazy. It's pretty upsetting to be honest. It's not just like how hot it is outside, but it's also like the impact on just other things. There have been an insane amount of fires going on in this area recently. Um, I have a friend in the San Marcos Kyle area and there was a series of fires, one of which came like two blocks away from his house, which is super scary. But literally last week, Taylor and I were driving over by a 35 and we literally saw a, like a fire, the, the massive smoke of a very visible fire over there. It's crazy. The climate is changing so fast and it's really, really worrisome. So naturally I've been looking into like what we can do about it. Um, and there's not too much, but I ended up, I mean, there are things that you can do as an individual, sure. But the rabbit hole that I ended up going down was apparently there is this passive house standardization system. And the US has a standard and Germany has a standard. And turns out by just like building your house and doing very specific things with like, insulation and uh, the orientation of your house, even the way that you get air, you can reduce your electrical consumption of the house by up to 90%. That's fucking crazy. But even something uh, like the overhang of uh, your house over the windows, because windows will transmit a lot of heat. If you have a very well insulated house, um, what you can do is you have the overhang such that the summer sun, which is predominantly top down, um, is blocked largely by the overhang, and the winter sun, which tends to come in more at an angle, is able to dodge under the overhang and you're able to actually heat your house and then keep it cool during summer months. That's really cool. Or even something as simple as using pipes that run under the earth to precondition your air because several feet under the earth, the earth is relatively consistent, like 55 degrees Fahrenheit temperature. So if you run your pipes under the earth and then you use just the natural geothermal temperature of the earth to condition your air, you're spending way less on electricity, which tends to be one of people's like highest uses of electricity. That's so clever. But today's been a busy day. Um, had a lot of calls today. Had a photo shoot with Sky earlier. I had my acting class in a little bit, but I started my day off with registration, which was a little bit disconcerting because um, I didn't do a very good job of having contingencies for my classes. Um, and I am taking full course load of full upper division uh, engineering classes next semester. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm a little nervous about it because I still have like other shit to do on top of like my normal engineering or like my, my school schedule. Like we still create content. I'm still a dad. We still do other things. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that next semester, but wish me luck. Today is Tuesday. We have about a week and a half until we go back to classes. Um, right now we're about to hit a workout and then the rest of our day is mostly admin stuff. Uh, my brother's AC is out, so he's over here with us today. Um, and yeah, let's get to it.